All right, what we have here is a David Bradley field planter. Apparently there wasn't a whole lot of these around, but uh, so I feel very fortunate to have, to have gotten this one. But anyway, if you saw one of my other videos, then you would have seen the garden cedar, which as the name implies was mainly made for gardens, a little bit, a little bit lighter weight planter with a much smaller hopper on it, but a nice little planter. But this one, the field planter was made for Made for probably, I guess, little small truck farms, maybe. Um, but you could plant, you could plant an acreage with this because of a larger hopper, and it just made a lot, lot more heavy duty. You can see it has a large sword which opens a furrow and a heavy packing wheel. Um, in the front here, it also has a, has a shank in the front of it here, which if you're working in a, in a field that has a lot of trash in it from say a previous crop, that will actually cut a furrow before the the uh, sword comes through to make the furrow to drop the seed into. But the model number on this one is 454-53760 and I believe the serial number is 1109. But you can see this this outfit is much much more heavy duty than the garden cedar. It's got a larger hopper, and I think these were probably made by coal. I'm just assuming that because it's made, it looks a lot like a coal planter, and these, these seed plates that came with it have the number uh, the same as coal, coal planters have. These were all the, the sprockets I got with it here that would change the gear ratios for it, but you can swap those out on this side here so that you could change all your seed spacing. Seed spacing can be changed through the gears with or uh, with the gears or you could um, the different the different plates too have different different spacings on them. So anyway you had to come up with some kind of combination to figure out your spacing on that. There is a seed chart that came in the manual but I've only used this once. Just got it this year. In fact I got this about a week after I picked it up the garden cedar so I've been able to kind of play with both of them together a little bit but I like I like this one a lot and what you did is you had there's to set your dip there's three settings right here three notches and then two holes to change this bolt right here so you could set your uh, planting depth but actually I only see about one depth of work with here because the way it's set right now would would be sort of a transport mode because it doesn't even put the sword in the ground at that depth. Um, this depth is really, really shallow, which would, I would assume, be for a really small seed. But uh, if I was going to plant seed that small, I'm going to probably use that garden cedar. And this setting right here, the deepest setting, would have your seed down to about, a, it's about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, which is probably fine for corn and beans and such, and uh, which is what I planted with it, and that all came up until the crows ate about half of the corn but anyway it otherwise did a good job now what you would do with this is you would have it in transport mode where you have this lever <clears throat> set at this notch which would raise the sword off of the ground and it would have this furrow plow right here have that off the ground so once you got out to the place where you're going to plant you would engage it by means of this lever right here and when you engage this lever it would bring that furrow plow down and it would allow the hopper to engage because as you see when you when you disengage it it lifts the hopper which disengages the gear that drives the the planter so once you engage it like this it engages the hopper and when the wheel turns that turns the seed plate in there and drops the seed down through this chute. Now these also had a, a fertilizer hopper that would have went with it, but it did not attach to the planter itself. The fertilizer hopper actually would have attached and sat about right, right here. And it had a, a chain and sprocket system that actually ran off of the axle of the tractor and from the bottom of the uh, fertilizer hopper, it had a flex 
a flex pipe that ran down from the bottom of the hopper to I think right right in front of the uh, where it would drop the seed at I think somewhere in there or maybe it went maybe it went down in here I'm not sure because I haven't actually seen one of those other than uh, just on the manual that uh, that came with this but anyway this is a uh, a nice little planter I'm glad to have it and uh, hopefully when I get around to painting the garden cedar I'll strip this one down and paint it too so anyway hope you enjoyed watching the video and maybe you learned something so uh, get out and have some fun with your tractor.